Okay, the mRNA processing is like this, very simple. So uh, we start with DNA, and then DNA undergo transcription, and then tran DNA is transcribed into pre-messenger RNA, and then uh, pre-messenger RNA consists of exon and intron. And then we put a guanine cap at the 5 prime end and a poly A tail at the 3 prime end. And then um, the we have something called spliceosome. Spliceosome is the one that will uh, remove all the intron. After the intron they are removed, then um, the mature RNA will only only has the uh, exon, and then it will leave the nuclear. It will leave the nucleus through the nuclear pore to go into the cytoplasm. If the intron of the RNA will be used, will be recycled. It's literally recycled later. Um, they use the recycled intron to stop the uh, protein synthesis, to stop the translation. So you you may think about why isn't that uh, the central dogma or transcription translation making protein is good for us? Well, the idea is like um, uh, driving a car. You have a gas pedal and you also have a, uh, a brake. So um, we cannot have uh, we cannot make protein all the time. Sometimes we need to, we need to hit the brake or we need to stop making protein. Otherwise, you know, non-stop making protein or, you know, a lot of protein, they are actually enzymes that we use for catalyze or speed up chemical reaction. So if we keep on speeding up the chemical reaction, it will be very easy for us to, uh, uh, to develop uh, cancer or other uh, illnesses. So uh, we need to uh, regulate the uh, uh, transcription translation. Um, at a suitable time, then we need to stop the process. So the recycled intron can be used to stop the uh, making protein. So, well, this question I guess now everyone should know. The most important bond in physiology should be hydrogen bond. Translation. Translation is the second process by which gene expression leads to protein synthesis. So um, uh, now we start the translation. Translation requires several enzymes that we will not talk about uh, in here, but we'll talk about the three types of RNA, mRNA, tRNA, and rRNA here. So um, we first talk about a uh, codon. Codon is a free nucleotide uh, that we 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 find on the uh, mRNA molecule. So since there are three nucleotides as one codon, um, there will be a sixty-four different uh, mRNA codon. So we have uh, four bases, and uh, four bases arranged in three different ways. Total will be 64. So basically, it is uh, four bases into three probability. Yes. So, uh, so it's the four to the power of three, therefore sixty-four. Among the sixty-four uh, possible different uh, messenger RNA codon, uh, we only use sixty-one of them to cook for amino acid. In uh, but as uh, I hope you still remember the beginning of semester, I I told you to memorize that in our human body we have twenty uh, amino acid. So if we have 61 to cook for 
amino acid, that means we have a lot of redundant, redundant code. So what does it mean redundant code? It means that some amino acid, they have uh, more than one uh, code. Why do we uh, use a uh, different code to code for the same amino acid? Well, it's mainly to protect against mutation. So let's say if mutation occur, and then uh, one of the one of the triplet code, one of the three nucleotide in the codon, uh, change to different uh, amino acid. Uh, to ch sorry, to change for different a uh, 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 base, uh, and then you will cook for the same uh, amino acid. So it help to minimize. So even if there's a mutation occur, changes in the uh, a base sequence, then uh, at least they will cook. They will still cook for the same uh, protein, or they will still cook for the same amino acid. And the next one is very important. The genetic code is universal in all living organism. The genetic code that we talk about here is the uh, triplet code that we mentioned in the first bullet point. Is the three nucleotide or the three bases that form a codon. So this is what we call the genetic code. Um, the three bases. Well, if you look at it in here, for example, you look at proline. So we have four codon code for the same proline. But they only the first two colon they are uh, cytosine cytosine. Uh, the last one can be uh, any uh, E A G C can be any one any of them. So if they if the mutation occur in the last colon, then it will still cook for the same proline. So this is what it means um, the genetic code and also the redundant of the codon to uh, to protect against the mutation. Um, we first now after we talk finish talking about the genetic code, the triple code, now we talk about the transfer RNA. Transfer RNA the function is to transport amino acid to ribosome. Uh, it is a boot-like shape. The structure of transfer RNA is looks like a boot. So, um, so one end it carries the amino acid. The other end it carries something called anticodon. So the end, remember, anticodon is on transfer RNA. Codon is on messenger RNA. Do not mix up the two. So, um, anticodon is on the transfer RNA. Oh, oh, so you have it here. Messenger RNA has the codon. Transfer RNA has anticodon. Okay. The transfer RNA, one end carries the amino acid, the other end carries the anticodon. So the anticodon is complementary to the codon on the messenger RNA. Uh, therefore, if you look at this, the codon in the messenger RNA is CGG, then the anticodon will be, the anticodon on the transfer RNA will be GCC. So the order of the messenger RNA codon Determine the amino acid sequence. The order of the messenger RNA codon determine the mes uh, amino acid sequence. So I hope you understand this part. And the, the amino acid arginine is carried by the uh, by one end of the transfer RNA. And then the other end of the trans transfer RNA carries the anticodon. 
So the transfer RNA looks like this. It is a boot shape. So this is one end of the boot carry the um, carries the amino acid. The other end of the boot carries the uh, anticodon. So you have the amino acid on one end and you have the anticodon on the other end. Okay, now we finish talking about tRNA. What about rRNA? rRNA stands for ribosomal RNA. What does it do? rRNA actually made the ribosome. So rRNA and some protein. And some protein. The together they make the ribosome. Together they make ribosome. So where can you find a RNA? They you can find them freely floating in the cell, cytoplasm, or they can be attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. We will talk more about endoplasmic reticulum in the later sl uh, slides. Um, the uh, ribosome has two subunits, uh, small and large. Small subunit is responsible for um, catching the messenger RNA. The large subunit is for catching the transfer RNA. So the large subunit and small subunit, they have to uh, join to form the ribosome in order to uh, have the uh, 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 protein synthesis to occur. So. Um, Um, so the, as I said, the small subunit has the binding site for messenger RNA. The large subunit has three sites for tRNA. We will talk about which three site. I will give you a preview. E site, P site, and A site. So again, as I said, the amino acid in a specific order form the polypeptide. So meaning that uh, the sequence of the uh, codon, the triple code, uh, determine the sequence of the amino acid. Therefore, it determine the sequence of the protein or polypeptide. So after the initial process is translated by one ribosome, then ribosome begin to move down to RNA. So the situation is very similar to transcription or DNA replication. Instead of using a polymerase to read the uh, a DNA uh, sequence, now we use the ribosome to read the messenger RNA. As the ribosome read the messenger RNA, then uh, a polypeptide chain is formed. Do you remember my previous uh, analogy? I mentioned that, okay, the railroad the railroad is like DNA. And then the uh, engine, the, the train engine. It's like the, uh, let's say the RNA. Polymerase. 
and then the smoke coming out from the engine is like messenger RNA so this analogy is for transcription I hope you remember this analogy is for transcription now for translation it's a little bit different the railroad is messenger RNA the engine is not an enzyme the engine is ribosome and then the smoke is polypeptide So um, you have the uh, transcription, translation. What about DNA replication? Do you still remember DNA replication? So uh, the railroad is the um, uh, the mother DNA. We call it the uh, mother DNA. The um, DNA. And then the engine is DNA polymerase. The smoke will also be the DNA. So um, the first row um, so this one so this is this is translation this is transcription that we're talking about now and this one will be the DNA replication okay we talk about the three processes. All right now, um, then other ribosome attached to the same messenger RNA. Okay, in this case, one messenger RNA can have multiple ribosome, uh, 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 so-called uh, translating at the same time. So several ribosome can uh, move along the same DNA. So they can translate simultaneously of the same messenger RNA. So you have multiple copies of the same uh, amino acid sequence uh, made at the same time. So we call this polyribosome. We do not call this a factory, we call it polyribosome. So it looks like this.